So here we are down by the wall and I've got Rob Capo 746 with me. How you doing, Rob? I'm very good, thanks. How are you? Man, yeah, I'm brilliant. I, you, I've got to say, you've blown my mind today. You've done a technique on this wall behind you that I've never seen before, which I'm going to ask you to talk you through in a minute. But where are you, where are you from? Where are you mostly painting? Um, so I'm based in London. Uh, yeah. That's where I do most of my painting and commissions. Okay. Um, and I, I'm, I'm a tattooist and mural painter. You don't do tattoos, I can see that. You don't do okay. tattoos. Yeah, I might get one one day. <laughs> Someone told me they are, so I might not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a couple of guys around here who do the walls, who do the tattoos as well. It's, it seems to be quite a link going on. Yeah. I love what you're doing. So tell me, take me through this technique because you drew this pattern on the wall and I filmed you doing it and it was really complex and it was minute little bits and you were you were taking, you were looking at your, your, your screen and I thought, wow, and I really like this. It's kind of, yeah, it's contemporary. I like the black and whiteness of it. I went away for 10 minutes and came back and it's not that, and it's an amazing picture, mate. Oh, it's incredible what's happening. And talk me through this, because I'm sure I'm not the only one who's never seen this done before. Okay, it's not. I haven't pioneered the technique. No, I've, no. I've jumped on it, but um, yeah. the technique's known as a doodle grid, yeah. and um, what it does is it help, helps artists to scale up um, a design. So anything typically we can paint, and we're right next to the wall. Uh, and we can reach everything within an arm, an arm span. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't. There's no need to use it. But when it's something that's really big, you've got to get a design. Especially if you're dealing with realism. If you're just free flowing in, you know, you, you could just have the cherry picker and just go mad. But yeah. if it's if it's something that's realistic and everything, has, all the tones have to be in the right place. Um, because you can't keep getting on and off this and no, that. No, no, exactly. You'd have to. You'd be there forever, getting off, having a look, stepping back, and all the rest of it. So what we do is um, we, um, as you see, uh, saw me doing, we uh, we do like a, a pattern on the wall, the, the doodle grid, doodle part of the grid, um, and you make sure that the doodles are. It looks random, but you have to do different shapes and numbers. You could use the alphabet, but whatever you do, you have to do. Don't repeat the, what you've done too near to each yeah, other because it'll yeah. get confusing. Because I, I did, so you'll see, I've, I've seen film on there. I was filming you, and you really it's like these aren't just random shapes you're drawing. It's a geometric pattern that's got some sort of meaning to you, I guess. Well, it's um. So what you would do is you do the grid on the wall. Yeah. Um, then you use um, like an editing sort kind of software. Um, you would trace over your realistic image. Yeah. Then you superimpose the lines that you've just made over the top of the yeah. grid, and then you make you knock the transparency back on the top layer so you can yeah. see mm. both layers at the same time. So this, um, this is the technique that has come about with the with the advent of the technology. Abs yeah, exactly. Um, so then, say there's a nose or the crow's beak, you can look at the you can look at the reference and you can see that the crow's beak is going to start at a triangle for instance and then yeah. it's going to end it's going to travel the line is going to travel through a cross and a square yeah. and it's going to end on an arrow yeah um so then you've got your line you've got your reference and it's it's quite confusing um but once you do it a few times you just get get the hang of it i love the fact at the moment it's in monochrome is it staying monochrome it's going to be mostly monochrome but with uh, monochrome. it's going to have a injection of color coming through it that's going to link all all the three pieces things. together. Oh, yeah. that's clever. That's clever. Well, Rob, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you, and I am absolutely blown away with your artwork, fella. It's absolutely fantastic. Thank you. No, thank you. I'll enjoy Thanks it. A lot. I hope that helps. It wasn't too. Um, I wasn't no. barbling. No, 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 no. Because no. I mean, I'm sure I am not the only person in the world who's never seen this technique before. So I think it's fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. In fact, I quite, I kind of like where you can still see the pattern through her face and the eyes. Yeah. I kind of like that. But then I'm just weird. I've got no taste either, so I wouldn't listen to me too much. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you get a chance, come down and see this. It's going to be finished tomorrow-ish. Be finished tomorrow. We finished tomorrow. I'll be back down tomorrow night to have a look. But we finished tomorrow. But we're down. We're by the uh, the Drapers factory in uh, Cottle Close, this is called, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Cottle Close. It's uh, on the road out of Glastonbury on the way to the tour. If you're walking to the tour, come and see it, because it's literally, it's on your route. It's on your route. And there are others. There's going to be the three pictures. The middle one's painting tomorrow. And those guys we're going to go and talk to in a minute are painting the other end. But for now, Rob, it's been an honour. Cheers, buddy. Thanks a lot. Stay safe, fella. Cheers. Bye.
this lady needs no introduction, so I'm not going to give her one. Hi, oh, Kim. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm okay, Gabriel. You're amazing, thing. Kim Coles. Facilitator extraordinaire. <laughs> she won't take any other credit, so we'll have to go with that. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, happy good. facilitating. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing a very good job. I mean, look at this bloody, this wall. It's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, Absolutely. I've been looking forward to this one. I think it's our biggest so far. We had to split it into three because it was too much for one person. And I mean, even in three, it's pretty big for each artist. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Rob over there struggling with his cherry pick. I thought he was dancing with it. Are you dancing? Are you asking? <laughs> <laughs> Man the machine oh, is perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> right, we'll just do that again. So we've got a wonderful wall behind us. You facilitated your facilities and you've got some amazing artists. Yes. A worldwide plethora of talent turning absolutely, up today. Absolutely, absolutely. Everywhere from London and Spain via Bristol mm -hmm. and, and local as well. So yeah, well, Millie hasn't made it yet today. She'll be here tomorrow. Um, she was a little bit unwell, so she's just taken it easy for an extra day before she burns, so she doesn't burn out. Plus, she just didn't want to do all that painting, which you've now done. Which... <laughs> do you <laughs> I, know what? I did the same thing. It was, a, it was a bonus, actually. It gave me something to do today because, like I said, I'm not actually painting any of the murals. I'm just helping out, making I sure everything's bet. here for everybody that they need. I was blown away with the technique Rob's using over there. I, I know, mean, it's that, quite clever, isn't it? That... I've never actually seen it done in person before. I've seen it on... Uh, on social media, mm. um, so I understand the concept, but yeah, it was it was I cool watching now. it go up. Yeah, because I actually, I admit to Rob, I like, I thought that was the artwork. I really <laughs> like the what? grid. One of the residents here thought the same, and she complained to her neighbour. She was like, "That's not what I was expecting." Really? <laughs> and Kelsey had to say, "No, no, that's that's just the grid. It's okay. Something oh, else no, will happen no. over the top." <laughs> I, I really, really like that. I did. I thought, you know, it's contemporary. It's good. It's got to make a state. I, I like that. <laughs> Don't know how they're going to blend it in, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's looking quite different now. Anyway, I won't keep you long because you guys are about to chow down on some rather nice pizzas. Yeah, I've put the pizza order in for everyone. That, that's been done. I'm going to come back tomorrow. Cool. And we'll see. I mean, we'll I was here. only away five minutes and that bird appeared. I mean, it was like, where did that come from? And yeah. that woman's face is just amazing. We we'll have to get that bush cut down so we can see the bottom of the artwork, I think. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We no, like no. plants. We, we like, like plants. It adds, it adds to it. It's cool. It's just not one. It's just a little white. bit impractical when you're trying to paint around them. But once it's all in place, the plants are good. I was joking. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to go on and speak to these wonderful guys. I'm going to leave you to it because I'm sure you've got a thousand and one things to do, as you normally have. Yeah. Um, because it's a busy life being a facilitator. It isn't is a busy it? life being a facilitator. You have to facilitate yeah. things. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Kim, it's been lovely talking to thanks, you again. Gabriel. And thanks for giving me the heads up to come down. No worries, anytime. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the other artists down here at the wall. We've got Marda and we've got Sergio. If my if my accent is bad, I apologise. Anyway, hi guys. Hi. It's amazing to meet you and I'm loving your wall. This colour is amazing. I love the colour palette you're using. Really do. Super saturated colour. Yes. And there's For some girly dreams. Day glow stuff going on in there as well. I love that green and the pink together. See, yeah. I've got no taste when it comes to colour. I, I just like all sorts of different colours and this is just really... It reminds me of Bieber. Do you remember Bieber? Bieber? Bieber. B-I-B-A. Mm. It was a famous art thing during the 60s and they had all this kind of flowing very similar to this. 
Well, you need well, to show me after the interview. Yeah, then. Well, we could look it up, Beaver. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, it is rumoured. It is reminiscent. I'm not that familiar with Beaver, but I have heard of them. Yeah, good. Oh, well, that's a start. Kim over there has heard of them, but can't back me up. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, so you normally paint in Bristol, you guys, yeah? Yes, we have a studio together. Okay. I'm an illustrator normally, and he does graphic design. You graphic designer? Yes, oh. and graphic the art as well. Maybe I could come and talk to you. I need a logo. Desperately need a logo <laughs> for my YouTube channel. So yeah, he's the graffiti expert, and I am mostly I have mostly work on canvas. Oh. So when a big mural was put offered to me by Kim there in the car. I, I thought asking Sergio for his help and his knowledge was the best thing I could do. Do you do many of this size? No, this is the biggest one I've ever done, to be honest. Yeah, a bit scary. When I arrive, I <laughs> thought turning back to Bristol, but here I am. <laughs> so, Sergio, you're going to do a bit in there tomorrow, yeah, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, a bit of photography piece in there. I'll be coming back to see that okay. and we'll be filming that, definitely. I can't wait to see this finish. I tell you what, I really wish I lived here because I could have to drive past all this every day. <laughs> there yeah, is okay. a wall near where I live, well in fact where I live, that Kim's got her eye on. So we need to talk to my housing association and get that wall, don't we Kim? Because <laughs> then we could have something like this. Yeah. I, I think we're so lucky, and did you know, I worked this out, we've got more and this is a bit contentious for you coming from Bristol. We've got more wall art per head of population in Glastonbury than you've got in Bristol. That's crazy, and it's all because of Kim. Well, Kim will tell you she's a facilitator. <laughs> she doesn't do anything but facilitate, but yes, because of Kim. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I feel very really lucky. Guys like you, and yeah. guys like you, I mean, the quality of artists we've had painting this town is just, it's phenomenal. And, and you join that long list of artists and I'm really pleased to see your work here and I'm sure the people watching this video will want to come and see it um, because it's on the walk up to the tour if you're, if you're walking to the tour you've got to walk past this so you've got to come and see it but for now... I'm the new attraction before the, before the tour no, you can say that <laughs> so I am going to go home now because I'm starving hungry I'm at least um, Sergio and Marta Nadia. To, to get on with their painting because they don't need me talking at them. They need to get on with it. So thanks, guys. It's Thank been you brilliant. So much. And I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 <laughs>